Hi all. Welcome back to Skillnik. Today we want to bring you into the exciting world of aerodynamics. Have you ever observed that boats carve out their own waves as they journey across the water? The region of recirculating flow immediately behind a moving or a stationary blunt body is called the wake region. This is caused due to viscosity, internal friction, resistance to motion of a fluid. Let's take another example here. Wake region signifies sudden expansion of the flow. When fluid flows over a body, it can experience sharp velocity changes across the body. The sharp changes try to expand as much as possible post flowing across the body. Let's take a classic example of flow over two cylinders placed one next to each other. The flow patterns over the first cylinder are quite different from the ones in the back. In the front, the flow passes smoothly over the cylinder, but in the wake the flow is usually highly unsteady and large eddies or vertices are shed downstream this is because now the flow has a larger area where it can expand into the large eddies are formed at a regular frequency and they produce pressure disturbances in the flow which we can sometimes hear as sound waves when we talk of the wind whistling in the trees it is the sound of eddies being shed this is why vertex shedding is a heavily studied area wakes almost always contain large eddy motions which are shed downstream these eddies dissipate energy and are further broken down to smaller eddies friction is the source of the irreversibility of fluid flow either through the formation of boundary layers over the surfaces or large eddies in the wake in thermodynamics we say that the entropy of the flow increases in an imaginary fluid that has no friction there would be no drag the entropy does not change and the flow would be reversible for example a cylinder in the flow of an inviscid fluid has no vortex shedding and it has no drag contrary to our practical experience the same principle is applied in external aerodynamics where we are interested in the wake region of various vehicles studying the wake region entails understanding the fundamental fluid behavior explore this concept through flows over bodies like air foils vehicles cylinders etc there is usually a low pressure area in the wake region which contributes to the overall drag of the body the random flow separation and creation of recirculating flow behind an object also contributes to the instability of the vehicle at very high speeds it is important that the wake region is studied and controlled using certain measures let's understand how to do that in the next video if you found this insightful be sure to hit the like and subscribe for more content like this